So what we have today is a taillight install. Super, super simple install, basic hand tools, but what you get at the end is a very cool result. So instead of taking a lot of time to introduce it, let's just dive right in. So to start the install today, we're gonna take our favorite pry tool and we're gonna dive in. There's a little plastic cap, comes right off. That's all you need it for. Then you're gonna take your T40, then remove the nylon hole. All right, that's your nylon bolt. And once you got that out, just set it to the side where it's not gonna get damaged. All right, so with the nylon bolt removed, to get the tail light out, you're just gonna grab the housing, pull straight back with even pressure to get your wearing harness exposed. To get it off, pull this right clip back, push down, to end pull. So now that we have our light out, we're gonna go over to our bench so we can swap out some parts to our new tail light. So to get us started today, we're going to be removing this housing off of the taillight. All that requires is a number two Phillips. We do recommend using a power drill though, on its lowest setting. Now there is a clip situated in here that you do have to pop off. So to pop this clip off, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver. Now this has got some pokey bits on it, so do be careful. Right, and with that, you're done with your old tail end. So just put that to the side. New tail light has a few bits that need to be assembled. And with those, again with our number two Phillips. And you do need a 5.5 mil uh, socket as well. Got that on, you put that clip in. There are some guide pins here. There are guide pins that correlate to these holes here to help you get the orientation correct. And to get these threaded, because it's raw plastic we're going into, we do recommend you use a power drill. Keep the clutch on its lowest setting. All right, and with that, everything's transferred over. We're gonna move back over to the Jeep. So now that we got everything moved over, we gotta put this into the cavity. There is one extra step that you didn't have to do taking it out, and that is mounting out this load resistor. We have these little clips right here that are going to sandwich this plate with the factory seat. So we're going to go ahead and stick it in there. And that's a little bit fiddly. So now that we've got that in place, we're gonna go ahead and get our clip together. Okay, now that we got our, our clips in place, we're gonna put our harness back together and get the light back into the cavity. Line everything up, hold it into place. While you're doing that, you need to get your nylon bolt, go through the interior hole, and just hand tighten that for now and you'll feel it start to get tighter as the spring on that nylon bolt starts to compress against the taillight housing itself. And just a pro tip, there is no need to over torque that because it will strip that on you. All right, and like that, it's in, secured. We're gonna take our cover, plug it back into place. With that, our installation's complete. It looks great, guys. It's super simple to do. Uh, but the visual impact that you get with this installation is amazing. 
just one more thing, we got to test these things out. And with that, we're going to call in my buddy John. All right, so now that John's inside, let's go ahead and hit those brakes, buddy. <laughs> Freaking awesome, right? Okay, go ahead and let the brakes off. Flashers. Perfect. And parking lights. Those look great as well. Go ahead and start it. Hold the brake, put in reverse. Dude, that looked great. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna button up this ride and get it back to its owner. 